two big goals to tell you about. Let's start at Anfield. Chris Sutton. Well, Burnley have only been in the Liverpool half once this half until now, and they are one up. It's a, it's a long diagonal ball to the left-hand side. Brady gets the better uh, of Alexander-Arnold in the air and loops a header up. And the two Liverpool centre-halves would just bullies them. They're, they're really indecisive. And the ball bounces back and our field from about 18 yards. A wonderful side foot and finish into the corner. 1-0 Burnley. Burnley haven't won at Anfield since uh, 1974, September 74. Scott Arfield's first goal in the Premier League since a late, late winner last October against Everton. And Robbie Savage as well, a goal at Watford. There certainly is, and it's that man, Sergio Aguero. Great header oh. from a fantastic delivery from Kevin De Bruyne. Whipped it in. The in-swinger, which Michael loves, he's unmarked. <laughs> he's got away from his man, Cabaselli. And he's powered it into the corner. Great header. There was a question of off. So oh, it's at the bar from about 50 yards Stand in the me. West Ham West Brom game. Yeah. <laughs> That's my game. Get oh, on. Oh, it'll be I was. Yeah, Patrick Obia. Oh. I mean, uh, the no, he gets no pressure on him whatsoever. Oh. Oh. Patrick Obia oh. from midfield, from about, I think it is about 40. I mean, yeah, it's just inside that, the half. Um, beautiful strike. Sees Ben Foster oh. off his line and has a goal, oh, and not yes. far off. Smashes oh. flush onto the bar. But not, there's not been that many clear-cut chances this game, so why not have a pat from our Yeah, very similar, very similar to the, the goal Cologne scored in midweek. Yes, yeah. Well, they're at the bar, though. Yeah, from, <laughs> except that one went in. Yeah, <laughs> very similar to Cordoba. Now, what was De, De Bruyne was getting very irate with somebody. What was going on there? Um, yeah, it was a foul. It was yeah. a book, um, I think it was a booking for a Watford play, but I'm just looking at... 1-1, oh. Liverpool goal! Salah... It Really good finish. It, it's Bernie um, going to be really disappointed. It's a long ball from Shan straight down the middle. Salah makes that run from the right hand side into the box, oh. takes a touch and smashes it past Pope. I don't think Pope can do much about it. It's beaten from pace, left footed, about 12 yards, mm. one all. Keeper, right? So, well, so, well, first of all, set the half here, it gets tight, but then lets him turn backs off him so he doesn't stay with the player, doesn't stay with the ball. Mohamed Salah. Um, and so gives him the space. Yeah, it's it it's a sharp ball. finish. It's a sharp finish down to keep keepers right. Like Probably should have done better. Um, but first rule, gosh, defenders got to get tight and stay tight. Don't let him face up in the box. Yeah, what well, do you th look? I'm looking at it again. So he's beaten to his right towards the oh, post. I think that's harsh Rachel, the keeper. Oh, I'll, I'll, really I'll, I'll be disappointed. If it, it's not in the middle of the goal. Mm. No, it hasn't. He, well, it, it, it hasn't. He, he smashed it. I, I mean, you've gone through the corner. It's, 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 it's the pace that beats him, it's not the angle. That's exactly. harsh. Can't blame the goalie. That's no, I, no. Are you joking? No. Oh. Rachel, is he slow to go down there? Uh, I don't think so. I think if you see it again, it goes through the, through legs. the legs of oh. Tarkovsky. Which I think is the main deceptor. I get the feeling if he was these boys' goalkeepers, they'd be saying something to him. Well, that's why you need a goal, the other <laughs> Yeah, very <laughs> good, Rachel. Point. You defend your corner, Rachel. Right. Going Shall back do. to the goal, I don't know what Graham yeah. Paul thinks, but there's a... Oh, there's a chance! 2-0, Aguero! Wow. Well, this oh, is nice. the goalkeeper's had an absolute shocker here, Gomez. So, basically, David Silva is on the far side, makes a good little run, and he's right on the side. Oh, oh, that's sick. bad keeping. That, that is definitely. You, let, I'm telling you, it's bad keeping. Awful Chris, you watch your game, game. right? The ball gets played <laughs> across. The keeper dives out. Gomez. He's just got to grab it. Misses it. Maybe because of the wet service. Aguero is four yards out, and he has got oh, the easiest goal. He's gone now. He is trying to intercept a cross, but he seems to go Terrible. down so slowly, yeah. doesn't he? Yeah, Terrible he's, goal he's goal. trying to cut out the the cutback at yeah. the near post goes down, as you said, too slowly. Yeah, I mean, I there, you've that. got to either hold it or you've got to deflect it back away from play. But just he take it back take it back a pace, Robbie. Um, get, yeah, get, Matt's got to be much stronger than that. Just, Jesus bullies him off it. Jesus was on the on the touchline. Yeah. yeah, Matt was letting the ball go out of play. Jesus was brilliant, nudged him out of the way, got the ball. Silva made a run. He's, the way to pass is perfect. Silva gets it on the left-hand side, just whips it across, but with no real pace on it, and the keeper's dive to cut it out. Shocking goalkeeping. He just touches his glove, bounces it to Aguero, who's four yards out in the centre of the goal, and just taps it in. Seven and seven for Aguero, City going top. Can they win the league playing this way? <laughs> of course they can, yeah. Definitely. Yeah, definitely, definitely. For me, Manchester, Manchester City. Why can City win the league playing this way but not Liverpool? 
because they've, they've got better players than um, Liverpool. Bigger squad. All over the park. Can they keep the ball better than Liverpool know, when they need to? I think that Pep's got a bit more conscious about he knows he's got a problem in defence and he's, know he's, he's aware of that issue and he's trying to fix it. But I'm not sure whether... Do uh, you think he has fixed clocks. it? I don't think actually he has fixed it at all. I think... And why can they win the league then? I'm not saying they can. This, the question was obviously what we said, it's not me. But I'm just saying from my point of view, when they, when they get company back, then I think they can win the league. At the moment... But the problem is it's a big if, isn't it? And his, his injury not, record shows you over the last two or three but years. There's only three teams can win the league. Chelsea, mate, United, they make the city. Yeah, I'm, yeah. With, I'm with you. And that's it. Yeah. Um, and do you think he's thinking a little bit like Michael, his Barcelona teams? I don't necessarily have the best centre-halves. We've always said this. Mascherano was a defensive midfielder who played centre-half quite a lot at Barcelona. But my team will have so much of the ball and are so good at keeping it that, in a way, I can almost compensate for the fact that I might not have the best centre-halves of all. Probably. Obviously, if you've got the ball, then uh, you don't necessarily need to defend too much. But, you know, they've, they've had a problem at full-back. They've gone and spent... Hundreds of million, you know, 150 odd million or something on three fullbacks. So they should be pretty fixed in the uh, fullback position. And then you look at centre halves. You know, John Stones. I, I'm a huge fan of John Stones. I think he's one of the best company if he's fit. He's one of the best. Newcastle have oh. oh, really? just had one saved. <laughs> um, I mean, in theory, he should have. He spent money on goalkeepers. He, he should have close to what he wants now. Um, well, today's team starting lineup costs four hundred and fifty-one million pounds, which is more than the GDP of Dominica. Which is, uh, <laughs> look at the bench, which has sadly been in the way of that storm as well. So four hundred and fifty-one million. Gundogan to come back as well is yeah. a very good protector of that. So who is on the bench as a matter of interest? I'm not going to pretend I know how much they cost. But so Danilo. Yeah. Gundogan, Mangala, Delph, Bravo, Sane, Bernardo. Silva. Right. Well, they're pretty expensive. A lot of them, aren't they? That's probably 150 million, isn't it, on the bench, I would have thought. The title will end up in Manchester. Yeah. Well, I... And there's some matches we haven't yet mentioned today as well. It's also the FA Cup second qualifying round, so we're keeping an eye on the lowest-ranked teams that are in action today for you. And those teams are Bulldog Town in the 10th tier playing against Aylesbury, and that one's goalless at the moment. And Kevin Phillips, of course, ex-Sunderland player, used to play for Bulldog, worth mentioning that. And also Tavistock, who also play in the 10th tier. They're 1-0 down against Froome Town. Oh, right, so a bit of a Hertfordshire and a, a sort of West Country derbies in those two. Fulham have equalised at Burton Albion. Oliver Norwood's first for Fulham. And Wigan one up on Bristol Rovers. Nick Powell, the former Manchester United player, with the goal there. So it's 1-1 Liverpool Burnley. A <coughs> couple of quick goals. Arfield for Burnley. Salah with the equaliser. Uh, still no goals at Huddersfield or at West Brom. But Man City cruising now with two Aguero goals at Vicarage Road. And Newcastle one up on Stoke. So almost another goal at Newcastle, Michael. Yeah, Newcastle are turning the screw now. Was, um, the ball just sort of uh, ricocheted a little bit after a, a shot from long uh, range and it ended up dropping to Hosselu. Um And he stretched and he just got a toe in and the, the goalkeeper was sort of smothered it almost. If he could have got a little bit closer to the ball, it was just on for a little dink over him. But I think he was just stretching. I'll give him the benefit of the doubt. It says everything about where Newcastle are financially, that they buy Hosselu from Stoke, the team they're playing today, for £5 million to lead the line. You are still their record signing from 12 years ago, Newcastle, £16 million. Yeah. That just shows, doesn't it, where financially Newcastle have been punching in the last few years. Yeah, and they've spent... I mean, they've bought quite a, a few players over the summer as well, but no big signings. And the Geordies do like a, um, you know, a, a, a signing to get them excited at the start of the season. So I'm not sure who the hero is at, at the minute up in uh, Newcastle. Hold it up. Um, obviously, Matt Ritchie's a, a dangerous player. They... You know, he started the game really well, but there's no number nine of the Shearer ilk, is there? And that's what they, they yearn for, I think, up there. Kevin Ellison still going well at the age of 38. Three and four for him as Morecambe lead uh, Newport County. It's Hamilton one, Hearts two. Hamilton halved the lead there. Oldham have equalised at home to the leader Shrewsbury. Uh, Craig Davis with the goal there. And Birmingham City have had a miserable uh, last few time of it, having lost the last four in the league. Birmingham lead Preston by a goal to nil. Uh, Maxim Collin after 35 minutes. Preston, fifth at the start of play. That's their highest position since 2009. Tony Pulis being exercised by something. No goals. Rachel, what's going on? Yeah, it's been a, re a really good battle between Andy Carroll and, and Hagazi at the back for, for West Brom. But that's kind of been the, the main contest. It is long board, looking for Antonio. Oh, it's three nil. It's Not three much happening. Nil. More happening in Robbie's game. Yeah, Hazus with the third. That was a foul, though, cleverly. Come on, so, boy. yeah, basically, it's been a tackle oh. on cleverly, and um, the referee's way of play on. 
the Aguero picks the ball up. Finish. The timing of the run from Jesus, you know, great ball from Aguero, one on one with the keeper, hits it across. Oh, I think he's just offside, actually, Mark. Which could be yeah, he is out. offside. He's offside. He's offside. It's not given. So it's a foul, oh. possibly on Cleverly, and he's offside. But apart yeah, from that, it was that, Walker on Cleverly. They're, they're pressing Watford really high in the middle of the park. Walker closes Cleverly down. Was it a foul? No. The referee's wave play on. Oh, Aguero great picks it up, runs diagonally towards the the, uh, the D of the box. He's used to makes a run in between the two centre halves. He's offside, not given. Great ball from Aguero. And he hits it across him, in off the post, 3-0, game over. We'll, we'll go to Graham in a second about, about that, but, but Jesus' coolness there, Michael, in front of goal. He knew, as the ball was coming through, he knew exactly what he was going to do with it, didn't he? Yeah, he takes a quick look and then focuses on the ball. Um, this combination's looking really powerful, isn't it? Um, Jesus and, and Aguero. But he's a, he's a goal scorer, they're both goal scorers. And not often you get two goal scorers like ah. that that can play together. No, exactly. That's but the interesting thing, is that he's going with the pair of and them. And what the about moment. the other day yeah, when, um, when Aguero's one-on-one -on -one and he passed he it? He squared it, yeah. And it wasn't really to give him an open goal. It was still a tough finish. Yeah. I thought, hang on a minute. That's, I, I, I think they're clever in that's the fact good. that they can play off each other, not both play up front as the mm. two. When, when one goes long, one comes short, yeah. Michael. Yeah. I mean, and they're clever enough to play in that situation. Two hey, questions for, for Graham. Yep, Graham, so you can talk What's to him. That? Hi, Graham, Robbie. Uh, Hi, Robbie. Mate, the, so the, just the two questions. Was the first goal offside and was the third one offside? Yeah, very interesting. The, sec the, the second one, the third goal for City, is definitely offside, 100% offside. The, the first goal is one of those, we've talked about this in previous weeks, and we talked about if there's an element of doubt, the advantage is given to the attack inside. I think there's a real doubt. We've looked at it so many times here, and you just can't tell. It's so tight. I think you're better off having the advantage for the attacker. Let the first goal stand, but the third one, oh, definitely offside. I can't leave it now, now. Uh, Kevin De Bruyne is actually the most talked about player on social media this afternoon. He got the assist for the first Manchester City goal, yeah, yeah. and he's now registered 57 assists since 2013, which is more than any other player in Europe's top five leagues. And obviously, people are talking about him on Twitter. Ant Hall says it's an absolute joy to watch KDB every week and Josh Lawless says there isn't a player in the world uh, in world football with a better delivery than Kevin De Bruyne. Do you agree Robbie? Well the interesting thing put under pressure by Kevin De Bruyne at the moment. Oh, I think he's the best player in the Premier League at this minute in time in terms of creativity, his weight of pass. You know I don't know if the lads will the guys will agree here, but I think at this minute of time, he's got a free kick now. Oh, Ooh, no, over, over the, the bar. But I just think he's outstanding. Absolutely outstanding. I just think to say, I said a few years ago when they bought him, I wouldn't pay to watch him. Mm. But that was from Fairly, because it was on the list of people like Rivaldo, Ronaldinho. Well, you pay, you, you, Robbie, you're entitled to change your mind. Yeah, yeah. That was a ridiculous And you take him. No, but... <laughs> When I said it, it was an, on a list of all the sure. best players there's ever been, yeah. and, would, and he was at the bottom of that list, so I wouldn't he's have... Oh, look, Elton, jo Elton John's watching. He's got his red sunglasses on, he'll need them. Hopefully he's obscuring the pitch for him. Um, um, but Kevin De Bruyne, brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Leicester got a free kick just outside the Huddersfield yeah. penalty area. Mares is over it, King's over it, Paul Ince. Yeah, it looks dangerous. Typical Leicester break, you know, Huddersfield had all the ball, lose possession, and all of a sudden they break, and Shinesh has brought down Mares. And it looks like Vardy's going to take it. Looks like a right foot up. Whether Marvis thinks he might go round the wall. Side. Whistle goes. It looks like it's Marvis outside the wall. In hits the wall. Um, but it's been all Huddersfield, to be fair. I just can't get that final piece of the jigsaw. Uh, let me just give you a couple of scores. Exeter going well once more. Exeter 2, crew nil. Exeter top of League 2. Jake Taylor with a second. Gary Hooper scored in four consecutive games. As Sheffield Wednesday in sixth. Lead at second place, Cardiff. And it's Wickham 1, Luton 0, and, and Liverpool go close through Coutinho. Yeah, and you, you talked about De Bruyne <coughs> earlier. I'd agree with Robbie, the best player in the Premier League at the moment. But Coutinho playing in a deeper role for Liverpool, a really lovely shift uh, inside uh, a midfield. And he slides a beautifully weighted ball into Sturridge's path, and he's sort of 14 yards out on the angle, left foot, should go across the keeper, hits the side netting. There are some players you don't want to make angry because they play better. I suspect Shakiri's in that bracket, <laughs> Michael, isn't he? He's really irritated today. He is. A couple of times he's tried to take a quick throw in, the ball's been nicked off and whatever, it's dribbled out, and Kieran Clark's grabbing the ball like you would to get into position and just to 
take the sting out of the game a bit, but he's trying to fight it off him. And, and as I say, that's the second time it's happened. Now the referee's had to step in, have a word, because um, I would suggest that Kieran Clark's on a tightrope for a yellow card if he does that again. And Harry Redknapp will be smiling as well because Birmingham are 1-0 up against Preston. They dropped into the bottom three of the championship earlier on in the week, but they're 1-0 up and it's one of his new signings, Col uh, Maxim Collin, who actually is on the score sheet. And we had uh, this tweet coming a little bit earlier on. This was from Birmingham City's CEO. He tweeted this. He said, it's easy to believe in people when they're succeeding, but that's not what we're about. We have to believe in each other when we fail. And it looks like they're all getting behind Harry and his boys today. Uh, MK Dons 2, Rochdale 1, and in League 1, Portsmouth 1, Fleetwood 0. Quite a game at Stadium MK, it's 2-2 two, two now. I was giving you that stat about Crystal Palace that nobody in the history of the top division had lost the first five without scoring. Well, Portsmouth back in 2009, it took them till gate game 8 to get a point, but they had scored before the stage that Crystal Palace are at now. Celtic 2 up on Ross County. So Celtic going well, Musa Dembele with the goal, Stephen Cragen with the update. Yes, Mark, and Musa Dembele has, has been prone to hamstring injuries throughout his career here at Celtic. He hasn't been seen in a Celtic jersey since July, but he's back, and he's back with the goal. To be honest, he's, been, you know, he's looked a little bit rusty. He hasn't looked up to match speed, but he got the ball in the corner of the 18-yard box, left-hand side, curled it in past Anne McCary. 2-0 Celtic, long way back for Ross County. Chris, Brendan Rodgers said his team played like the under-12s at times, and did yeah. you not describe Celtic's display as embarrassing? Yeah, well, if you lose, uh, if it's the worst result in the history of European football, 5-0 thumb time, however good PSG were, you know, Celtic, if you're a Celtic player, and discussing with Robbie earlier, he didn't agree with me, you lose 5-0 on your home patch, that's embarrassing. But, but, uh, so, emba so embarrassing not, losing 5-0 no, to no, PSG. Not, no. they, 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 they so you're telling Barcelona. me the players, the, the players, as a player, you wouldn't feel so ashamed embarrassed. and embarrassed? Is it embarrassed to lose 5-0 against well, PSG that, yeah, with Neymar? You were used to, you were I'm, used I'm, to I'm losing. Asking, I'm asking the question, right. Michael. Do you think it's embarrassing losing your Celtic <laughs> to play in Ross County Did today? Did you see the game? I'm, what? Did you see I'm, the I'm game? I'm going to want Mark asked you the question. I don't think it's embarrassing to lose when you've got Mbappe, Neymar, Cavani... And well, a, a, a Celtic team, a, a, a Celtic, a Celtic team, a, I'd feel embarrassed. A better well. Barcelona team, so. Mark, a Celtic team under Neil Lennon beat Barcelona there. But 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 the the the, uh, the uh, Barcelona front line costs 342 million, or it will do when they have to pay up for Mbappe. Uh, Lee Griffiths cost a million. I mean, it's a total yeah. mismatch, isn't it? Well, it, yeah, of course it's a mismatch, but, you know, and then Cel Celtic could have invested in a centre, should have invested in a centre, after young lad Ralston uh, was exposed by Neymar. <coughs> but, you know, and a lot of supporters are saying, well, you know, what would a £10 million centre-half, uh, you know, achieve against that front line? But you have to try, you have to strive. Celtic have got some wonderful results over the years uh, in European, fo in European uh, football. So, you know, you have to try, you have to make an effort. More pertinently, the next game against Anderlecht is a big game, and that's why they should have invested. And if you think, if, if listen, it's, it's about Anderlecht, that's, that's what it's about now, to get into the Europa League in the new year. If they don't get into the Europa League in the new year, and so it's the same as last year, do you fear that Brendan Rodgers will say, I can't go anywhere here because I'm going to win the yep. league? I'm probably well, going to win the league, or certainly going to win the league. I'm going to win two, if not three, trophies a season. Frankly, I need a challenge elsewhere. Well, I think he's, uh, you know, he's made a statement to the supporters, to the players and to the board. The bar is too low. That's what he's saying. Calling out the players, calling them under 12, you know, saying they froze on the night. He, you know, he, he needs... He, he's done unbelievably well. But last season, it was a free go in Europe. This season, the supporters uh, wanted progress. And the performance, you, you know, they, they didn't have the courage which they should have done. They're not going to get out of the group, are they? not going to get out of the group. Well, they might. Well, the Anderlecht games, the Anderlecht games are the critical well, wait, games, so, aren't they? So, so, well, why bother, Robbie? Well, what, you, well, you know, well, why not just be satisfied with your well, league football? But, uh, What's you asked, mentality if you'd, have, if you'd have asked any of us guys on the sofa here, how do you think PSG will get at Celtic Park? You'd have probably said 3-4-0. I said 4-0. 5, I wasn't surprised. Well, that's I think. Neymar and Bappi Cavani. Well, that's, that's my final question before we go to the break. Michael, we've talked a lot about uh, BBC in the last few years, you know, Benzema, Ronaldo and Bale. We've talked about Messi, Suarez and Neymar, MSN at, at Barcelona. Are we going to be talking about Mbappe, Neymar and Cavani in the same breath as the Barca and Real front lines? I think we will have to be, yeah. I, I mean, I didn't think in my life, I don't think anybody's ever seen what, what we saw at Barcelona that. Suarez, um, Neymar and Messi was just out of this world. Now, I still think that they're the best three, 
but this is a young three, um, especially with, with Mbappe there. So if he develops into the, one of the best players in the world, then we could be we could be comparing in a few years' time. At the moment, I'm still going with that Barca three sure. ahead I, of the Madrid one. Cavani can't believe his luck, can he? No. Suddenly he's playing with Neymar and Mbappe. I'm not saying it was bad before, yeah. but he cannot believe his luck. No, I, I actually love watching him. I think he's one of the best movers as a as a yeah. centre forward. You know, if any kids are trying to learn how to make little runs and little getting in front of defenders and the timing of the runs, he's he's brilliant at it. Half-time whistles going everywhere then. OK, Manchester City cruising it now at Watford. Two for Aguero and one for Hazer. City are going top of the league. Uh, they're still playing at Anfield and it's 1-1 there, but it's half-time everywhere else. It's goalless Huddersfield and Leicester uh, and West Brom and West Ham is goalless as well. And Newcastle leading Stoke by a goal to nil. Christian Atsu with his first Premier League goal there. And the half-time whistle's now gone at Anfield as well. So Liverpool won. Burnley won at half-time. During the break, uh, take a look at our latest film. BT and the Premier League are into the second year of a disability initiative which aims to transform young lives. Our cameras visited Everton recently to catch up with Yannick Palassi about the club's work in this area. The full film is online at btsport.com right now. <laughs> 